All right. Thank you for tuning in with the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. Hey. Oh. Oh. We got a great show for y'all on this fabulous evening. It's the Hump Day Wednesday with Tea and Whiskey. Hey. Y'all, we got a great show. Great show. Great show for y'all tonight. I am your host. Sunshine, aka April Bonet Sunshine, the inevitable S dot could not make it on this evening because he is doing husband duty and father duty tonight. All right. So shout out to the S dot. Hey, However, S-dot. hey S dot. But we have an amazing show. We have an amazing guest on the show. She is the CEO of. Nicole Paradigm Media. Give it up for April. Nicole, tell us who you are, honey. Hello, everyone. It's your girl, April Nicole. Yes. 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 There she goes. Uh, April uh, Nicole. Uh, uh, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Uh, okay. Uh, hey. I won't start rapping yet. <laughs> bars. <laughs> Come on with the bars. For days. For Come days. Come with the bars. Four days, but it's not time for that yet. It's just an intro. Hey, guys. It's your girl, April Nicole. Mm. CEO of Nicole Paradigm Media, blogger for Dallas Black. Um, shout out to Urban Hera Magazine, Slay Magazine. Yes. Um, if you want to know more about me, please go follow me on Instagram at Nicole Paradigm Media as well as The Real April Nicole. Yes. Um, I'll pull to my website, www. How many W's was it? A lot. www. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, P A R A D I G M dot com. Hallelujah! All things media. Who do you go to? April Nicole. Yes! And when do you do it? Now! Right now. Right in this hour. Y'all, we got a great show for y'all. It's a lot going on, and it's time for us to just jump into it. So, Nicole, how was your week, honey? How have you been doing? Uh, Been doing so great. So... Just recently had a birthday. Yes, you did. did. Girl, how young are you, honey? Because they won't believe them if you told them. Oh, I gotta tell. You don't have to. But I'm, I'm just saying, even if whatever you tell them, they ain't gonna believe it anyway. So I, I just turned 40. Faulty shouty. Oh, oh! They call me Faulty P. Hey, 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 Faulty P. Faulty P. Faulty P. There ain't Faulty. So Fowdy it's been like the greatest almost two weeks of my life. You look amazing. <laughs> You look amazing. This is what 40 going to look like. I want to be in the mix. I want to be in the mix. I want to be in the mix. Thank you. Yes. Um, just want to thank my mother and my father for the great genes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, Jeanich. And for the African-American culture, black don't crack. And my ancestors. So, oh, hallelujah. So, yeah, it's been great. Um, Still kind of been on that birthday high a little mm-hmm, bit. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. And got some great things in the works that I've don't just talk about it because it's actually a full moon. Okay, so when the full hey, come on. So you know, let me tell you, we got so much going on before she even go there. <laughs> we got some great stuff tonight. Okay, first of all, April Nicole is going to give us some enlightenment on how to clean your aura, help us understand the aura and understand everything in regards to the stars. And there's there's more to this than just because you look up in the sky. That don't mean it's just for sight. It's for insight. Hello. She's going to give us a little insight, you know. Of course, we got to do a part two because I know what she's going to give us. These jewels she's going to drop tonight are going to bless us. We're going to have to have a part two. And so, of course, you know, we got so much on the docket. You know, Beyonce got this black magic witchcraft going on. I don't know. I don't know. And, of course, we got the Bill Cosby sentence, y'all. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this police officers in Dallas and things. Y'all, our hometown is just doing the fizzle, unfortunately. We we on the docket. And, of course, cleansing our auras. And, of course, the, oh, the amazing bitch assness awards. We got to wrap all this up. But we're going to make sure we end it with cleaning our aura and get our minds and our hearts right. Okay? Are you with me on that? Yes. I'm with you. I'm with it, too. Let's <laughs> that was more it. like a... Paula Abdul move uh, or something. It is. You know, uh, Paula Abdul taught Janet Jackson how to dance. Oh, there was more Janet. Oh, oh, oh. That's true. Mm-hmm. That was Paula. Paula. Yeah. Yeah. Anywho, so, April Nicole, let's get into it. The Bill Cosby sentence. Uh, do you do you feel sorry for Bill Cosby? <sighs> how many minutes? When was it? <laughs> it was three years. 
He got three to ten. They gave him three. But how many women? I, how, how many, many men? How many three. women came forward? No, no. Three. How many women came forward? Fifty nine. Okay, like so that. okay. <laughs> the more moral of the story is the nigga was making more than Jello. Mm. And you know, I here's my thing. I don't even really think that Senaton was was for me. I feel like it was a fair sentence. You, you do for an eighty year old man, mm -hmm. three to ten. Okay. Three to ten, you know. I feel like it's you know, it's really light com compared to what some would get. I get what the uh, my black people are saying. They trying to make a mockery out of him, and they trying to do the black man wrong. And yeah, I, I get you know, it. You know, we all in there talking about we, we making it a, a race issue. We really are. Every damn thing is racial. Everything. That's what we do. But the moral of the story is, race had nothing to do with him drugging people to put his pee in him. The, the what? Pee <laughs> nine. You was drugging folks and putting trying to put your pee in him. Well, bottom line, you got caught. It took your karma eighty years to catch up. Mm. Three to ten years just ain't that long. It's That's just my opinion. Right. Do I feel sorry for him? Absolutely not. No, you don't feel sorry for him. Okay. okay. If it didn't, if it had caught up with him when he was forty, will we feel sorry for him if he was forty? Mm -hmm. Are we supposed to take into account that he's eighty? <sighs> you know, I guess you know. I'm still stuck on the whole. He, he's Cliff Huxtable, you know. Yeah, that was fake. Father figure, all of that. So, you, you know. know I'm a realist. I know, I know. You a realist, honey. And I, I, I totally understand. That's why I need somebody that's a realist. Not to say anybody else is. But, you know, there's some of us that are still in that TV land. It's like, why y'all doing Dr. Huxtable like this? Because he's just putting his peni, trying to put his peni in the, in the drug jello. Oh, the, the jello. I mean, was, he wasn't trying to put the peanut in the jello. The jello, he, the, the jello was spiked. So he was he giving was jello shots. Well, if they was taking jello, he was putting it in the jello. Jello quaaludes. Roofling, roofling. Yep, jello quaaludes. Quaaludes jellos. What Mark okay. kept saying, roofling, roofling, roofling. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight, since there's so much dirtiness going on with um, Dr. Heathcliff Huxley, but we're doing dirty martinis tonight. The dirty. The dirty. Cheers. So... Cheers. Sorry. Cheers. Pour up your favorite beverage, whether it's water, alkaline, whatever you choose. Um, today is just the dirty martini. So he gets three years, and some people were like upset about the cameras actually being on him with with the handcuffs, and people were like, "Oh my God, it's too much! Can is he just have like dignity?" Jesus? I mean, can I say that? Is he Jesus? No, he's not Buddha. Jesus. No, he's not Buddha. Gandhi. No, he's not Gandhi. He got the nose for it, though. But I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> but he ain't wrapped up in no swaddling clothes. <laughs> Only thing he was trying to swaddle. Wait a minute, he ain't wrapped up in what? Swaddling. Clothes. <laughs> he ain't wrapped up in swaddling clothes, man. I think he was trying to swaddle with some... Give me that. Hey. Oh no, I was so hurt. But you know what did it for me was when um Jennifer Lewis, I love her. Shout out to Jennifer Lewis. She, I she love did her. Everybody's auntie. She everybody auntie for real, for real. Mm -hmm. Like she's auntie like status. Yeah. She so is. she did a wonderful um interview on the Breakfast Club. Mm -hmm. And she basically gave a story about how there was this lady. She was in the green room getting ready to practice, do like a dress rehearsal for the actual episode she's going to mm -hmm. be in with the Cosby Show. Mm -hmm. And she was excited. You know, she said, she said, I'm very vain. I'm talking about myself. Oh, I was talking about myself. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be on the Bill Cosby Show. Ah! <laughs> I, right. I got Jennifer Lewis down. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. In these streets. In and she said there was this really pretty white girl with red hair. And she said, when I said, she said, when I said the name Bill Cosby, she said all the color of her face just left. And she said, what's wrong with you? I said I'm going to be in the Bill Cosby show. Right. The lady said, Bill Cosby raped me. Oh. Those came out of Jennifer Lewis's mouth. That, that, those words came out of her mouth. So when she said it, I was like, oh God, this shit is really real. It's going down in these streets. Jennifer, Jennifer Lewis wouldn't just... Do she would to... never ever say something that's not true and on the record and in front of Charlemagne. In front Charlemagne of the God, you know 
Don't tell me that God is all about that tea. All about that tea. Well, we want to talk about on the next episode about his tea. Because he, the next big guy's a book over here. Stop, girl. Let me get a sip. What? I can't. Yeah, all the brothers is coming out the closet. They just start getting it roofing and getting it. So I'll slip that pee now. Oh, I heard. I can't do it. I can't do it today. I can't do it today. You got that, that Irish. I can't do it today. Do it today. <laughs> Top of the morning. <laughs> Top of the morning to you. So Bill Cosby, you know, I really felt like it was a funeral for me. I just, I just felt some type of way. Everybody's like, you know what? Throw the book at him. Throw the book. But I'm sorry. I just, I just Slow felt some type of way. Bringing. I know. Yeah. Slow singing and flower bringing. If my burglar alarm goes off, you don't wanna fall in love with me. Hey. Erica Badu said. It. And that's what happened. I fell in love with Heathcliff Huxtable. Yeah. So right. rest in peace, Heathcliff he Huxtable. He um, he's gonna be in a what did you say? He's gonna be like in a, a security. He's in a maximum. Yeah. They they transferred him from a state um penitentiary to a maximum security penitentiary. So he's up there with all the killers and drug dealers. I'm sure. I'm hoping. Of course, they're gonna put him in um solitary confinement. I hope they do it like like they did uh, Martha Stewart because you know she was good. I mean, he's gotta be some kind of Gucci. Like, he can't be just in with the... I mean, plus he's a sex offender, so they're gonna definitely have to. Yeah, because they don't like sex offenders. And they general. have... Um, He is re a registered sex offender now. Damn. Well, he was a sex offender. It just yes. hurts. It just, it, really it just hurts. hurts, but it hurt those women. Yeah, and I, ha I have to acknowledge the victims. I have to. I can't say they lied. I really cannot because who am I to judge? Because if shit happened to me, I would not want anybody to tell me what the hell I said was a lie. Absolutely not. So, it is what it is, but you know, part of me is like when well, they did Michael the same way and then the little boy after Michael passed, the little boy, he grown now, came out and said that he didn't do shit to him. So, it's like I, a part of me is like, I really, really want to just be on board with the victims, but another part of me is like, you know what? They did Michael the same way. With my ego and 25 boys, like the priests, this is something different. Did everybody The can't... priests? We like, don't get I, them. I can't talk about that. What about I used Harvey to be Catholic. Because okay. I have a whole conspiracy theory. There is no way that 300 priests in a specific city, all of them pedophiles, all 300 priests of pedophiles, so 300 priests in one, one one one, 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 one concentrated area. One. So what that means to me, in my opinion, sorry for my Catholic family, that the Catholic Church is a hub and is creating pedophiles. So the pedophiles know that I can go to the Catholic Church if I want to mess with kids. That part. Hail Mary. Run with me. Mm -hmm. Literally, run with me. Get out of there. I, I totally get it. And I just think it's absolutely wrong. Um... We got to do something about that. That's You're not going to do anything about it. It's rich white money, and uh, they're paying and it's government funds. Yeah, and I can't even go because they're going to shut us down because it's government. All the way down. Yeah. Moving forward. So, rest in peace, Bill. <laughs> he is not dead, girl. He's he in the pen. He is dead to me. You don't understand. I don't no, understand. No, Heathcliff is dead, girl. Move on. Let dead. him go. Let it go. I had my pen. Like your Linus blanket. <laughs> Let Heathcliff go. I Officer that was and, fired after shooting the innocent man. That whole Amber. Yeah, they said that whole Amber. <laughs> ah, I'm ah, throw her away. I just want the video to come forth of her tooting and snooting or whatever. I want the show. I want the video to come out of her tooting and snooting. I want the. Uh, I want uh, a text message to come out where he hit it one time and didn't mess with it no more. I want the real truth to come out. I know. Because it ain't no Mickey Ficky way. This is the truth. But I am glad that they finally um, did fire her. Shouts out to our police chief. Yes. Um, And lovely Delta. I'm not a Delta, but Ski we and all that. Hoopy poop. I don't uh, know what it is. What is I it? I think it's... Uh, I know they do this like that. Ooh. Yeah. This wasn't my thing. It's not mine either, but I, 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 know gang the calls. I know the calls. So, I know the calls. Gang membership. So, um, anyway, 
Um, it took a little while. The African-American community of Dallas was all enraged. No justice, no peace down there with Tice like John Wiley Price. No, y'all wasn't fighting nothing. But anyway, because mm. y'all can't even get together on one damn thing. Y'all can't. We can't even go to Wheel of Fortune and, and do a puzzle. Anyway, so, um, yes, they have finally fired her. Um, and um, new, in, in addition to that, new reports came out today that Baldwin Jean's family um, is suing the city of Dallas. Uh-huh. Get that Eric. Get yes. the coinage. Get it. So um he was finally um they had a service for him in St. Lucia. Yeah. You I said it was that before yesterday. Right? No, the one they had here was beautiful. I had turned off in my desk because I had already watched a wreath of the week before well, I came here. Girl, that right ten hour one. one. So how long did his last? Um wasn't like a 10 hour one, but mm -hmm. you know, they came out the same day with the marijuana. They found marijuana in his apartment. Oh, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. I can't. Yeah, I just want, but you know, here's the thing we just do not know if it's, we really are never going to know what happened. I just truly believe You're it's going to be a right. lot of speculation. Um, I believe that there's a big chance of a change of venue because they're going to say that they can't find a good jury in Dallas that doesn't know about the case. Mm -hmm. You know, gang, this is, this gang recognized gang. It's a but I'm going to tell you one thing. Shouts out to uh, D.A. Faith Johnson. Yes. Them little um, signs she got out with that uh, that filter. They got her looking three shades lighter. That's not going to be enough to, to save her. Because these black people are ruthless. Did like, she say filters? Filters. Did she use Snapchat? Angles and filters. <laughs> Lighting. But listen, honey, I saw her in person, honey. And that is not who was on that sign. Mm. They were talking about the woman. You're talking me. about who, who is that? Who is it? They talked about a weed. Who is wait a minute? Who is that? Who is that? Yeah, they used to need two pair. Uh, and she who just, is that? And then at the press conference, I don't want to get off subject, but she was up there just being so. Was she being extra? Maybe I don't know what else to say. Oh, you saying the same thing about? I promise oh. you. I I promise you. The DA's outfit is gonna do everything they can. <laughs> To make sure that the people of Dallas is dead. Oh, girl. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta I just turned the press conference off in my desk. I'm not going to play with yeah, you. Yeah, we can't do it's that. It's political. That's why it's very important that we do what? Vote. October 6th is the deadline for you to register. Please remember Please. in November remember to vote. In November to vote. Do a little vote, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, do a little remember. register. October 6th is the deadline. Remember. Don't you get caught with uh, your hand uh, in between your uh, legs like uh, you're warming uh, in this windy uh, day, but uh, it ain't. Uh, I better uh, stop because uh, I don't feel like uh, I got what uh, I need. Uh, uh, Harvest, bring the props. Remember Just saying all time. kinds of shit. Remember in November. Go ahead and end this. this. Remember in November. <laughs> <to vote. laughs> Seriously, like we got babies that turn to 18 and y'all need to go register. We got and, and educate them because let me tell you, oh, shout out to my young niece, Angela Ray Nicole. Let me yes. tell you, she called me, she Come called on, me baby from girl. work Come on, baby girl. the other day and she said to me, mm -hmm. baby's 21, but let me mm -hmm. tell you about these millennials. Yes. Mama, mama, we can't vote for Beto. What? I said, girl, what are you talking about? You FaceTime me. Mama, Beto said, they said Beto is uh going to uh get a, do away with barbecue, so we can't do it. <laughs> what? What you, you mean? Know. Wait a minute. I was livid. What I you said, mean? don't you ever vote for nobody because they trying to ban barbecue in Texas. Stop it. I said, does that even sound right to you? Oh, that didn't sound right. Millennials, please. Do not cast your votes based Girl, on... Girl, you could have went and got some barbecue with H&J and O'Clip. You Please. talking about they banned the barbecue. No. Girl, if you don't get off my phone, no. I done got mad all over Don't you. disqualify your candidate because and the, because of barbecue. Don't let social media fool you, baby and don't girl. you vote for nobody because their surname is Cruz. Because mm. that's how we got who went the last time. It sure was. It definitely was. Remember in November to vote. Please go register. The deadline to register is October the 6th in Texas. Please go and register to vote. 
Remember, because we have a man in office that puts children in cages. Do not forget. Do not forget. He grabs women by the pussy. <laughs> oh, do the not, whole word. Do not forget. Don't forget. He's used the N word. And he ain't. And he is not authorized. And he's the only, only nigga that can say nigga. <laughs> ah. And he didn't. He, he didn't say N I G G A. He put the E R. He put the R on that Joker. Trigger nigga. That's his two. He didn't say N E G U S. He put the E R. Y'all, I'm serious, y'all. It's all about what we do here in the States as to what will reflect going forward because they do what they do and they send the money over to Texas, but it's up to our legislation to distribute the way it should be distributed. There's no reason why that big-ass arch was built over there. What's the name of that damn Mary park? somebody. They took all that stimulus money from Obama and they put it in Bishop Arts District. They didn't tell us hey, if you go over there and stay for a year, we'll give you a certain amount of money to revamp well, it. Well, I'm just going to go move in now. What are they going to do? It's too late. No, they ain't. Not, cause not me. Because I'm just going to go move in. They, had, they had grant money. They took the stimulus money. They had grant money that you would take whatever little property over there. They would give you like 10000 or so. And you would take that grant money and you would um, reface it. Uh, renovate it, and all you have to do is pay, pay the uh, utility bills for a whole year, and you can do whatever you want with it after that. So we uneducated. They didn't tell us that they shit. Didn't educate That's us. why Bishop Arts is thriving right now. They didn't tell us that. Well, Chango Botanica didn't get no money. Huh? Of course they didn't. They were trying to get rid of all of those minority businesses up out of there. But they can't go nowhere. Cause we're talking about I ain't never seen. I ain't go. never seen nowhere in Oak Cliff where you paying twelve hundred dollars for some goddamn rent, and you and you live in four hundred square feet. Four hundred. Seriously, where's the Wally World? There again. No remember in November to vote. I'm trying to tell y'all, hey Kit Tabor, hey D Marie, what's up, cuz? Hello Pamela, hello D Marie. Okay, moving forward now. Beyonce and this black magic girl. Beyonce and there's a there's a uh, ex drummer who has allegedly accused Beyonce for using witchcraft and she used it for molestation. Can we go into the? Can you talk to us about this? What's going well, I don't on? Don't click like yours. You want to use it? I, I just can't do it. There you go. You <laughs> just so uh, uh, ah! so savvy. Ah! Ah! Okay, so okay. So the drummer, the ex-drummer has come out and said that Beyonce practices extreme, extreme witchcraft. And uh, she's in a black magic, blah, 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 sis, boom, blah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And that she's used the extreme witchcraft for sexual molestation spells. It's, I'm not laughing, y'all. Sexual molestation spells. It's just that you got to explain some of this stuff. And she killed her cat. Yeah, she did say she killed her cat. First of all, I just want to put this on notice. My, I don't understand how you get a restraining order against the spirit because if she's using witchcraft, what is the restraining order going to do for the ghosts and stuff this time? I don't know if it's ghosts, but I'm right. just making it up. I, I totally agree I with you. I just want to know what they going to do when they come for you, bad boys. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> I don't understand what the restraining order is about. <laughs> yeah, however, what is, what is I will say do? this. I will say this. Okay. There is a huge witchy community. Hmm. Huge. Are, they, are you a good bitch? Good, good bitch. Are you a good witch or a bad witch? Glenda. Glenda's the good witch, right? Yeah, Glenda's the good witch. The witch. I don't know. Anyway, moral of the story is. The witches got her back. And they no, said, they yes, she's a witch. Leave her alone. She been a witch. Gonna be a witch. And if you witch with her, we gonna witch with you. So I would suggest that even if she done killed her cat and killed her dog, I would suggest Kim retreat peacefully. Or peacefully. Because you are messing with Beyonce and Jay-Z. Hmm. As for me and my house. As for me and my house. Regardless if she was practicing pink and purple magic. Yeah. I would retreat. Me and my house. When we go, sir? We going to the house. We going home. Oh, oh, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm going to get my cat. I'm going to get my cat. <laughs> go. 
Yeah. Got, and yeah. I understand. Now I do understand. I'm not I'm not saying that this woman I mean, the reality is this Beyonce and we'll never know the truth. Um, but um the reports that from the witchy community are saying that she's ready to come out the broom closet. Who really? Because she shows all of these different signs. I'm not talking about that Illuminati crap. Yeah. But that according to whatever their language is, you know, they throw up that little sign and the little witch sign. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's true. So you really I so really you, believe it's true. You believe that Absolutely. practices witchcraft. I believe um yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's it's good? I mean, because there's good witchcraft and there's bad because it's it's all the same, but it's how you use it, right? I believe that um, I can take a gun and I can use it for protection, and you can also take the same gun and use it for murder. That's my answer. Okay. There you have it. It's it's up to you. But I'm not now. I'm, don't come to my house with no damn chicken bones and blood. I'm not. I'm, you're gonna get shot in the <laughs> slung with some hollow. I'm just telling you. I didn't say that. But what I am saying is, please, who are me? I listen. I listen. I, I we don't even have enough time. We don't have enough footage no. for me to go into all of the We're ancestral stories. Because I'm telling and you, all of that biblical. Because it's all, all the same. I ain't got nothing to do with it. You do what you want to do, but don't you bring that over here. Because I'm telling you, I got no some, bad news. Listen, I got something for that. Come no on. bad news. No, no bad news. Because uh-huh. she's faith. The ex drama is accusing Beyonce of using black magic to affect her money, her career, and molest. Why does she have to use black magic? She can affect her money by blinking. You know, she works for Beyonce. I can affect. She's Beyonce. If Nikki can affect Cardi's money and Nikki uh, Minaj can affect Remy Ma's money, and let's just be honest, if you wanted to go into your work today and say, "Well, you know, so and so, he don't be coming in on time from break," you can affect somebody's money. So why do we have to be down. bones and stuff? Break blah it down. blah blah. Why I got to be a witch? People Break just go down. too far. Because girl, you, you just ruined your life and your career. Because these little beehives love them from Beyonce. That. You spoke that into your life, girl. So honestly, you should have just went to sleep. Because if she is doing witchcraft, you gonna wake up with red hair and pink toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you speak it, it you. Because let you me tell you something. If somebody doing it, I'm gonna guess what I'm gonna do. Which I. We're not gonna make this a serious show, but I have been told recently that somebody did something like that to me. Get out of here. Recently. We'll get into that off the show, but yeah. But let me tell you something. The devil is alive. Well, I'll fight a hoe. <laughs> oh, person. Because I'll fight the witchcraft out of you. I will beat you up. Because I don't believe now. you're not gonna do that to me. But it makes sense that somebody would try to but you know, whatever you give energy to. Yeah, what will manifest. Whatever you focus on is what will manifest. So you know, if I see her in the streets, so if you think she somebody is playing on me. you, it will happen. Because guess what? You spoke that, right? Well, the you know the honest to God truth is the spirit did reveal it to me, and then somebody confirmed it for me. We are getting off on another tangent, but I do believe it's real. If wow. I believe it, you know. But I, let me tell I you agree. something. I'm a I, listen. We'll show you. I listen. I can pray but, the wilds. I can pray the pain out these wilds. So it don't on. even matter what you want to do. You can come with it if you want to, but you can catch these hands. You better make sure you got your all your spirits together. Your holy hands. You, holy these hands. Holy hands. Holy, oh, we're gonna be real greasy around these parts. Greasy. Greasy. Oily, oily, aged up. Everything. All types of stuff. You Speaking get these, of, yeah. we're gonna talk more about that because I do have some sage here. It's some white sage. White sage. And we also have Palo Santo. Palo Santo, my friendito. We're going to talk about that. Necesito. All right. Our studio audience is just hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) What is our studio audience doing here? He is just being extra. Praying and don't know what's going on. Love it. Now, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We have Facebook Live going on right hey, now. Hey, y'all. Hey, we're, y'all. We're going to do a hey, little Facebook shout-out. Who we got on the Facebook right now? Who we got on um, the Facebook? I can't tell. Everybody that's watching, but I can see Hey, Wayne there. Hey, Michael Craig. Yes. Michael hey. Craig was my boyfriend when I was 15. Hey, Michael Craig. Hey, what's up, boo? How are you doing over here on this um, end? We got CSA, a.k.a. Charlene Owens in the building. We got the S. Dodd. What's going on, S. Dodd? 
Oh, but you can be on this slide, but you couldn't be over there helping us out of nothing. <laughs> What's up, S. Dot? He hey, S. Dot. I'm doing just kidding. And we love you to be. Somebody's got to take that Cliff Huxtable Hill- wrong. Yeah, we really do. Thank you yeah, for stepping in and doing what Bill did. Do- he had us thinking he was doing. Thank you. You being father and you being husband tonight, and we appreciate you on that on tonight, sir. Hallelujah. 15. Hallelujah. Okay, so. Let's go into this cleansing our aura, April. Please give give us give us some some knowledge. We need to know what's going on in you know. Okay, so there's so much going on. And it's so easy like to for to bleed yeah. into our lives. Like you know, just watching you know social media and just people coming in and out your house. It's a lot going on, and then some. You always, only ever say, "Ooh, I just don't feel right. I got a bad, bad vibe. Something ain't right." Or when you come home, it's just a lot of chaos and stuff going on. How can one recognize what's going on and fix that? So, hey guys, my name is Erica McCall. So, <laughs> um, so I do want to give a disclaimer because yes. I don't. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not here for none of it because I I don't care and don't inbox me. Yeah. So. <laughs> This is a non-disclosure. This is a PDA. This is all of that. Yes. This information has not been she gave a regulated by the FDA. No, I'm serious. Um, if you don't, you know, if this is not your thing, it's not your thing. But let me tell you guys a really quick story, really, really quick. Um, 2017, horrible year for me. Um, many of you, if you can go back in my feed, go back into my um whatever you know i was battling with some things things i didn't put out on facebook i was really battling with depression i was battling with many physical ailments um things that i was going to the doctor they said i had a brain tumor they said i had this they said i had that it was days i would just be in the bed i would be out for two weeks just laying down pain nobody could tell me what's going on i'm having a pain here a pain here a pain here a pain there Wow. So I was born Catholic. I was raised Catholic Christian. I let, listen, I'm not here to fight with y'all because I'm not saying none of that. But listen, mm-hmm. sometimes you get to a place in your life when you have exhausted every single thing that you know and something new is introduced to you. Okay. And so along my little journey of just like, okay, I'm not feeling good. What is going on? Whatever. I went to my daughter's doctor. Mm-hmm. My daughter's doctor is Asian. Shouts out to Dr. Go. Anyway, um, we had a long conversation. He he explained to me his practices and mm-hmm. things that he does. And I won't go into that. But that started me just kind of researching and coming along and coming on some things. I have a really, really good friend from third grade. Shouts out to Melissa. Love you, girl. Hey, Melissa. It's so crazy that she saved my life in the third grade. Wow. When I really didn't want to live. And then here she saves my life again when I'm 38, 39 years old. That's so, amazing. comes to me. She was like, girl, let me come over there. Let me come to your house. Let me cleanse it. I'm like, girl, what you finna clean it? We finna get some ammonia, some bleach. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, no, girl, we finna get this sage. I was like, what? So, um, she introduced me to some things that have been around for so many centuries and so many eons and eons. Mm-hmm. Um, some things that even in church or, or in different areas. So with no further ado, yes. I would like to introduce Mr. White Sage. White Sage. Mr. White Sage comes in bundles. You probably see people with the little sticks mm-hmm. or it comes like this, loose. So what Mr. White Sage is here to do is Mr. White Sage is here to clear your energy, your home of negative energies. You can cleanse yourself. Um, it is, um, it originated um, for, through Native Americans, and it's something that they still use. People that are Christians, people and that are non It is biblical. It is biblical. And I'm not going to pull out no scriptures because like, y'all ain't paid me. Yeah, I ain't got no honorary. So, um, <laughs> So, um, I, I can give further instructions, but white sage is a very excellent thing. If you've never cleansed your home, get in the corners. You can Google it. Say your little prayer. Um, counterclockwise. The Lord's Prayer is... is Lord's to, Prayer, yeah, because that's prayer. actually one of the videos that I pulled up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Lord's Prayer. Counterclockwise in those corners. Get yourself. Go all the way up and down. Now, people talk about 
Yeah, um, people talk about um, sage all the time. I know you see people talking about sage. It's like a thing now. Mm -hmm. But sage completely clears the energy. So if there's good energy and bad energy, it wipes it clean. So wipes you're dealing with out. a clean slate, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. Yes. So if you've never smudged is what it's calling, smudged your home or cleansed your area, you want to start with white sage because it's going to clear everything up out of there. Everybody. I'm going to say this. If you've ever been to an Erica Badu concert and you wonder why the hell it took her forever to come out, she was using sage. And, and I'm going to show you what else she did. <laughs> so this is also, this is a very, very good way to start. And I'm going to tell you my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> oh my God. Is there a lighter? Yes. I have to just do this while I'm talking to you guys. So. A lot of people talk about sage, but they never talk about Palo Santo. Palo Santo is also used to cleanse your area. But Palo Santo translates to holy, H-O-L-Y, mm -hmm. wood. Holy wood. Um, it also originated in South America. Argentina, to be exact. There you go. I and um it cleanses it purifies but let me tell you what it does and this is so amazing to me y'all let me tell you what i do with paulo me and paulo we got a thing going on um paulo really is good with relieving anxiety and depression yes so you can literally you know light her up you uh marijuana smokers <laughs> you herbal herbal refresh herbal essences <laughs> I put a little Apollo in the air. If I'm feeling off, I go in there and I just... It gives a very nice it citrus. It smells so good. It's a citrus scent. So as soon as you smell it, it's like your whole... You just calm. Your whole vibe just changes. And you can kind of leave it burning. It does not stay lit very long. So um, I would suggest after you cleanse your area, you want to reinforce it and bring Apollo in because it's going to bring the good vibes. It's like white sage cleanses the vibe and Paolo brings the good vibes. Brings only right good vibes. In. So um, you can pick up both of these items. You can order them online on Amazon. Or if you're brave, you can go to your local botanica. B-O-T-A-N-I-T-A-N-I-C-A. Sorry. Been a long day. Um, Botanica, which is a place where you can find a lot of um, Latino religious things. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're, prepared. they're very heavy in the oh, Catholic Church. Very so. heavy in the Catholic Church. You're going to see St. Anthony, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Patrick, St. Jude, all of that. So, um, anywho, if that ain't your thing, oh, keep, keep on swinging. But that's Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. Palo Santo, literally. Um, my kids are like, hey, get some of this Palo. Y'all, <laughs> get your Palo on. Yeah, your, your attitude. My so friends, up. they know, get you some Palo. Um, and so, those are some things. In addition to that, everybody knows what this is. It's incense. Incense. This just happens to be some St. Anthony incense that was purchased at the Botanica. So, um, this particular incense and every incense, every different scent has a different, um, intended purpose. So this is for St. Anthony. And St. Anthony is the um, the saint of lost things. Um, so if you've lost things or if you feel like you've taken losses, you know, drug dealers taking I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Get that if your trap got kicked in, this is for you. <laughs> we need to get the ball on it. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm just, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, you I'm back. back. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> but incense also cleanses um, your area as well. Incense has been used for many, many, many years. Um, they use incense in the Holy of Holies for all of you Bible thumpers. Frankincense, Frank myrrh, Frank frankincense, same what you thing. think that was? Frankincense is amazing, amazing for clearing out negative energy. So this is uh, just happens to be some St. Anthony. And if you know you want to find what you lost, just light them up. Light out, uh, shout out to Kid Tabor. He says, I use it faithfully. Faithful. A lot of people fear what they don't know. You better preach today, sir. Thank you so much for and being open to this. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so last but not least, um, and we won't get into this very much, but this little pookie knot. <laughs> This little poochie noochie I call. I don't know. She doesn't have a name. But that is a clear 
quartz crystal. A lot of you may know what crystals are. Um, there are many there are many quartz. crystals. Quartz. There are many quartzes, but this is a clear quartz crystal. Yeah, that's like the amazing one. Like, this is ooh. known as the master healer. Um, it absorbs energy. It um regulates energy and it kind of energizes your other crystals we're only going to talk about this one just because if you guys are into this type of thing i know you think it's girl that's just a rock hang on a little bit and rock do nothing for me <laughs> well don't carry no rock don't carry it if you don't think you're doing anything it's all about your faith all it's these things faith. are about your but faith. this thing is very powerful and so you know a rose quartz will mm -hmm. attract love yes um and not just oh i need give me a blue i'm gonna give me a i'm gonna give me a rose quartz and don't i don't want to see none of you with no quartz and they rose quartz nails mm -hmm. i'm not i'm not here for it <laughs> where is i am so because he would light them up anyway <laughs> this is another form of healing um and these are things that I have used in the last year mm -hmm. that have really, people that have been around me, they're like, April, girl, what is it? There's something different about you. <laughs> Don't come to what's this. Let me show you what's in my periods. Come on. You know, I've had a couple of um, Jesus jokers. Of course. And I don't, don't, listen, y'all know me, so don't, I'm talking about them, but don't come for me, because y'all know, I know my Bible backwards and forwards, and we'll get up here and beat to you, you to death, but anyway, the moral of the story is I had one sitting on my desk, I had my wife sell night, my mm -hmm. baby love, mm -hmm. and I had her just sitting on my desk, and I'm doing my work, along with many scriptures. Yes. And, girl, what's that? <laughs> and you sit over here looking like, precious, you know, <laughs> precious girl, you better get to class. Girl, if you don't get to class, <laughs> pull that shirt up and pants up. Shout out to Charlotte. She said chakra cleansing. Thank you. Yes. So I, I don't even want to get into that because then we'd have to explain what a chakra is. Yeah. Like I said, I'm tell, I told y'all. Follow your woke ones. That will happen. You are stay woke. Because I'm telling you, it will be a part two if we get involved Absolutely. in that. Absolutely. So, um... I, you know, I keep me, I keep, I stay locked and loaded. I keep me one. I actually got this. Shout out to Pretty Boss TV. I was in Houston, went to the meet and greet. So I'm yes. going to just give y'all a couple of shout, shout outs to yes. people if y'all are into like the metaphysical thing, um, spirituality. If you just like, okay, I love a little, but I'm scared. Pretty <laughs> Boss TV. I am Kendra Justine is her name on Instagram, on Facebook, um, Pretty Boss TV. She's so much like us is the best way for me to put it. I was in a room full of women and, you know, we could all express ourselves. And anyway, so this was one of the things that was in the bag that um, she gave away. And this is my clear quartz crystal. And it has so much energy in it, y'all. It, it, it does. I'm holding it. I just feel so good. Does not mean you're going to hell. None no. of that crap. No, this is this is all from the earth. God it's made this for us. Hell, right? But, I mean, it's it's all according to your faith. But now, I'm if you get on there and you this. start doing stars and zeros and go out there with that's uh, on you, uh, bewitching them, that's on you. I ain't got time for that. That's on you. That is on, on you. you baby. What a kid type of says she started a fire cleansing. I'm jumping through the phone. This is oh, is she trying to make me she trying to make my new wait a minute? What oh, is she trying to become my new bestie, Crystal? So Thank you guys so much for the positive energy. It's so Thank amazing. You guys. And I would you. just urge you guys, get, you know, it. there are some things that are a little much. And sometimes I get on the YouTube channel and they doing it. Hey, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. get it off. <laughs> yeah. Erase the history. It was history. Through. You know, I've gone and I wouldn't suggest you walk into um, a botanica if you're afraid of uh, statues or spirits of any sort mm -hmm. i will tell you a story i walked into the botanica the first time and uh it was many huge many many huge statues waiting to greet me <laughs> and so i walked in and i instantly felt it i said what in the hell so i waited at the register the lady was talking to another lady in spanish so i'm like i don't know so what well no let me take let me take the back so i started walking around and when i got to the back there's an altar set up <laughs> what happened to all honey? I came, I took my breath away. So it was um the one that I noticed was um well his name is Papa Nigga. I'll tell you about the story because I had to go back and read about it. And he has a cigar that they put in his mouth and they light it every day. And um 
And there's a little Indian one next to him. So anyway, long story short, I walked past the altar. Ain't nobody back there. Uh -huh. I know, and I heard some go shh, like running, like running through like a some, body of water. Oh, like some footsteps running through some water. Yeah. <laughs> really? I hopped up there to the front. I said, um, "Hey, how you doing?" <laughs> I was coming to look for some Florida water. Some Florida, Florida water. water. Yeah. See, I ain't gonna talk about Florida water because y'all ain't ready for this. Mm. But she was like, "Oh," I said, "What was back there?" She said, like, "Oh, yeah, this is Papa Negro." That's um that was Chango's um that was Pancho's spirit guide and blah blah blah. Cash. <laughs> Cash, okay. So uh -huh. it's like you already know that spirits back there playing with folks. <laughs> but I go in there now. I done met Abuela, the Amy. Really? A girl Abuela can't hardly speak no English, but she loves Greek. You Abuela? Yep, Chef have taught a studio audience. They know Abuela. Abuela's sweetest thing, but Abuela. I'm talking to Abuela and I'm talking. She said, Oh, honey, one of my kids is Negro. <laughs> you know, honey, I was trying out. So, wow. anyway, all I would say to you, and all I would encourage you to do is this is the way I look at it. If Jesus died for my sins and mm -hmm. I'm saved, mm -hmm. And y'all feel like I'm going here, pray that I don't go. And I'll come back. <laughs> and that the grips will bring me to the altar Sunday and dash me in the water and bring me bring back. Me back up. Seriously. If that's what you believe and if you believe that that's the, if you believe that I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost and all of that and you feel that I'm saved once, saved, always saved, that's what you believe. If you feel like I'm going to hell, then go on, bring me back. Bring me back. The Bring Lord. me back because I ain't going to hell. Because Jesus Amen. did say you, the things that I do, you will do greater things. He did say that. Well, so, I'm just saying it's 2018. You need some damn Palo Santo. Your attitude, baby. Attitude just told well. What's up, Shawnee B in the building? Thank you for tuning in, honey. Hey, Shawnee B. We've been talking about the amazing white sage. White sage is for cleaning the aura, for getting rid of all energy, good and bad. And you want to come back with a positive to bring in the good energy, which is the Palo Santo. Smells wonderful. I mean, it's amazing. It's like a very citrus scent. And I'm telling you. It's good for asthma. It's good for eczema. Look it up. Palo, P-A-L-O, Santo, S-A-N-T-O. It goes any your botanical. You just base light at a 45 degree so angle. Three dollars get you like a bag full. I go to the botanical in my house. Yeah. It's a dollar a stick where I go. That's what I'm saying. It's it's hardly and nothing. And you light it up. Or you can order it online. And let it go. And you just burn it until it goes out. And it just basically brings all the pots of energy back. I already had um saged the house before. And I smelled um, it when I came in. I, I smelled it when good. I came in. So I, I do believe in doing it. God, you, you just never know what's going on with people, what brings people, you know, what they bring in. And it's important to clean your area. I even clean my, my, my not even from just the living room. I clean the whole house. I clean my wedding bed. I, I clean Absolutely. my marital bed. bed. Hey, marital bed women. I, you stale, telling stale you. ones. <laughs> Get your little Apollo. Get you, your Apollo. Listen, I think we done went to another sage. I'm just this is Listen, serious. I do that sage. I come back on you that feeling a little, You feeling a little unweak in the knees. You need to be weak in the knees. Get your little pop. Listen, women. Well, I want to talk about some other things. Let's, let's do it. First of all, you need to get you some yoni pearls for that cooch and <laughs> then get you some polo. But we get to the eggs. And, get, and no, pearls. They don't need the eggs. Because the eggs. eggs is just to get it tight. But you need to get that odor under control. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm so sick of it. I'm sick of going to the bathrooms and 40 and 50 year old women flopping. And I can't <laughs> take it no more. But we'll talk about that on the next show. Because I'm sick of it. It's you too old to be smelling. <laughs> Shit. No. There are, there, there's, there's principalities in this. Well, I'm just saying... Go to, I, I just want to get some shame. I'm going to get some plugs at, at Yoni Care Houston, Y-O-N-I-C-A-R-E-H-O-U-S-T-O-N. And ladies, we got men in the room, so I can't really tell y'all what it'll do, but I promise you. Well, the men of the college girl. girl. Go ahead Did, and tell Now, you can DM is. me about that one. Because April Nicole takes care of everything from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. From the rooter to the tutor. Because when my husband, hmm. Okay, go ahead. I'm telling you. <laughs> but we won't talk about that, though. It is very Ladies, important. Ladies, like, hygiene is so important. Why are we not taking care of our skin? Why are we... I, oh, no, let me take a bath. I don't want to fuss. 
Some of us didn't have nannies. I had a nanny. Some of us were not. Were we didn't not have taught. grandmothers. We didn't have. I have a strong family of women. That's and if you ever see my family, every woman is lined up, her in place, everything. Yes. But it's not just from the outside. It's from the inside as well. Mm-hmm. I did grow up in a strict household where if your bra strap was not the same color that it was supposed to be, you would get your lynch. <laughs> but... <laughs> We live in a time where we eat a lot of different foods and, you yeah. know, we don't even know what water to drink and yeah. all of these things. And so it is good for us to try some alternative methods. I get sick of y'all talking about, okay, y'all don't want to do this. It's going to take away your good pH. Well, what are you going to do? Because you're, you're not going to keep locking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do something. It's you got to stop laying up with these different men and letting these different penises go with you with these different, different pHs. pHs. This is just different. Yeah, we have to take care of our bodies, sis. Yes. But anyway, um, those are some Yoni Care Houston. Mm-hmm. Tell her April Nicole sent you. Look her up and just go look at the testimonials. I have used the Yoni pearls. Amazing. That's wonderful. And yeah. I just ordered the soap. And some more pearls, just because. Because I'm just the type of person that I want to drink bleach, because I'm just that clean. <laughs> I'm a little crazy. I have not attempted to drink it. Please don't. But, but um, some people do it for, you know, drug testing purposes, however, what? you know. I ain't finna die over no dirt <laughs> for a potential job. You running out. I'm just saying. Ladies, get that. Come on, go. Shameless plugs. Shouts out to LRW Skincare Therapy. Wax some of that hair off. If it smell, cut it down. Wax it off. You need to cut it. You need to put some deodorant in your drawers. I can teach y'all some stuff. <laughs> My mama taught me some stuff. You will never have a smell. I don't care if I don't bathe for three or four days. And that's never going to happen. <laughs> but y'all, it's some stuff that y'all just don't they know. Don't need to there's some things. There's some women that sweat. Let me tell you, I wish we had a bottle of apple cider vinegar. It's a wonder. It is. Because when you turn 40, even though I may not look, honey, you know, those amazing. sweat glands start to pop in there. You got to get you some ACV in Yeah. Wait, wait, do wait a block. Got yeah, block. Got it. Block it. Yeah, it smell, but it's going to get rid of the smell anyway. Stay tuned. <laughs> I think our studio audience, come on, studio audience, we got to show them this. We slide that on over. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> It will save your life. I have been using this since I was 19 years old. Before people knew about it, you could only go to Ann's Health Food and get this. Now you can get it everywhere. Everywhere. Why, why do you see that wonderful bliss that's down there called the mother? Yes, I drink the this mother. twice a day with two capfuls and eight ounces of water. People, I, people, how many people ask me if they have a girdle on in my, now, Lord knows, we ain't going to talk about weight, but I just don't want to talk <laughs> about my waist. People yes. I always say, Girl, why you good kind of girl? I don't have it's this is gonna help your waist. So I'm trying to tell you. Mm-hmm. You must snap don't start drinking this and not wear that girl to girl. So you say you do two capfuls and eight ounces of water? Yes, you can do this two to three times a day. And so it will help your yoni from the inside. If you drink some water, yeah, drink water, some water. water some of y'all's yoni needs some water. Stop drinking them goddamn Coca Colas. Yes, put them Coca-Cola's down. Coca Colas and cigarettes. Put them down. And you and you and you want to flop. <laughs> and you want to say, "Girl, I can go to the doctor." I don't know. She said, "You want to flop?" You know what? It's something that's been here since the beginning of time. Water, 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 water would do it every I time. I You know, we're not even gonna talk about what types of water. That's another show too. Yeah. But this will save your life, men. If you got some funky feet when you take them shoes off, woman. Get your Martha on and get down there and wash his feet with this ACV. Come on, Martha, water. wash All his feet. All you got to do is put this in your water. Man, this is it. the best water. They need to pay us. <laughs> this is my favorite water. This is my favorite. I, I'm No, I'll be damned. They're not. Take it back. They're not paying us. Nope. Just get no one you, goes, get but you saw it. They ain't paying us. When they start paying us, we'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't paid us nothing. We over here shameless plugs and everything. What you say? We kids, need our coins. Kids say yes. Extension, holla at your girls. Look, kids have April said, and April. Yes, shave that pooty. Yes, please and thank you in advance, kid. <laughs> <laughs> the men have spoken. It's 2018. It's not a, it's, so, preference is preference. There's nothing wrong with it. But we're talking about hygiene. Yeah. If you're a musty wander. Musty wonder. You're a musty one. Musty one. You musty wonder. Musty wonder. Anyway. Musty wonder. <laughs> Thank you so much, April Nicole, yeah. for the enlightenment. Thank you for helping us clean our aura, not just from the outside as well from the inside. 
Now, we're going to get to our Bitch Assness Awards. Woo! Now, I want to explain to y'all, we do this every Wednesday when we do the Tea and Whiskey Podcast. We do the Bitch Ass Awards. We give out this three-inch award because Bitch Asses does not require much. <laughs> so you're not going to get the much. Mm-hmm. Not at all. So my first Bitch Asses nominee that I want to kick my shout out to is for the Beyonce X drummer. For accusing Beyonce of witchcraft. Now, there's a possibility that Beyonce could be doing witchcraft, but the thing about it is, uh, ma'am, seriously? Seriously? How y'all bring it up while she on tour? Could you have? Hey there. Hey there. I don't know if you got fired. I don't know what happened, but the first bitch ass has award tonight goes out to the ex drummer of Beyonce for accusing her of witchcraft. In regards to um, not securing her bag and molestation, um, April Nicole, do you have any bitch asses awards you wish to give out on this evening? I do. Okay. Are oh, we sticking a celebrities? It's moves. whatever, whoever or whatever. We have medals and we, we have day. trophies. Okay, oh, hey, let's do it. No. Let's do it. Okay. So, um, in addition to that, I would like to give a bitch assness award away to. Every black person that feels like Bill Cosby should not be in jail. Ooh, so, ooh, 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 Lord. Or if you're not black, that's fine too. But I want all of you to fit your big heads into here and put it on. <laughs> you do the crime, you do the time. Whoa! And you are crowned. All right, so bitch asses award goes to people who, you said black people, who don't think majority black. That do not think Bill that Cosby did it. They don't think he should be in jail. They don't think he should be in jail. Well, all right then. There goes the second bitch asses award. Uh, the next bitch asses nominee that I like to give out is for the uh, police. I'm still, she's still on the docket. Amber. Yeah, Amber. That whole Amber. That's that, what we're gonna call that it. That whole Amber. That whole Amber. I am so. I'm trying to just. See both sides of the spectrum, but I can't because the other person that sh- could tell us the other side is not here. How do you walk and force yourself into a place that is not yours? I don't care how tired. I don't care. I have been drunk and I have still been able to get to my home. I recognize where I live. When you get into a Uber and you're totally fucked up, you have to give an address. Seriously. So I'm sorry. I don't care how long you work. You're still on the docket. Bitch asses awards to that whole Amber for that shooting that Amber. innocent man. I'm sorry. Bitch asses award. So um, if anybody have any bitch asses awards, you can always email us at sunshine at gmail.com. Cash your ballots. Let us know what you want us to discuss. And you can always catch the Tea Whiskey podcast on SoundCloud iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, and of course, Facebook Live on Wednesdays live. So thank you all for tuning in. I want to thank our very special guest, April Nicole, the CEO of Nicole Paradigm Media, for coming through on this fabulous Wednesday hump day shenanigans in regards to the amazing things. Um, Once again, where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram at the real April Nicole, N-I-C-O-L-E. Or at Nicole Paradigm Media, or the, yes, or you know, if you have any questions, any con- if you are looking for a public relations, a blogger, you need someone to edit, write, ghostwrite, yes, info at nicoleparadigm.com. That's P A R A D I G M. Thank you again, and please, you guys, I cannot say this enough. Please remember in November to vote. Registration for voting. The deadline is October the 6th. Please go and register to vote. Research all the candidates and do all you can to make this world a better place. Look at everybody's track record. I'll just go off what somebody told you. Do whatever you... (laughs) Remember in November to vote, vote. Remember in November to vote, vote. Please, y'all, I cannot, I cannot stress enough, y'all. Please, go register. If you got babies that just turned 18, 
Take, push them. Push them to And then vote. tell them what to vote for because some of them ain't going to They vote. don't know. Do your research. So, again, thank you again for tuning in with the TM Whiskey Podcast. And you guys have a fabulous evening. Thank you for tuning in with the Hump Day shenanigans. We love you and we'll see you in two weeks. Peace. Bye. April Nicole, you are so amazing. Girl, stop. Thank you oh, so much. Wait a minute. We still. Thank y'all so much. Let's wrap it up over here on the April Nicole. Bye, guys. Yes. Bye.